Hey guys, it's Abby here. So we have a 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, error. And in this one, the print head lock is stuck in the upright position. So I'm turning these gears here on the far left side. And you'll see that the rod above my hand is turning, but it's not moving the print head lock to unlock it. So I'm going to go ahead and take off my scanner. There's three FFC cables attached to the scanner to the main board. Go ahead and take those off. And then I just have a ground wire that is connecting my scanner to the main board. Well, it's not to the main board, I'm sorry, but it is still to the printer. So we need to go ahead and unscrew that ground wire. Now I can just pop off my scanner. So I'm going to show again here. This is where the print head lock is locked and I'm going to have to push it down manually so I can move the carriage over. Once I pull it over, um, there, there's no paper in there that I see, and I'm trying to figure out why I can still move um, the gears on the far side, but why that wasn't moving the print head lock at the same time. So um, I can move that, um, and we see that it is moving now, but uh, if you have better eyes than I did at this point, you'll see <laughs> what the error here was or what was causing this. So here's this print headlock, and as I move it, you'll see that it does move a little bit, but it isn't moving um, the way it should be. So if you look behind where the waste tank is, um, you'll see that there's a bigger gear here, and there's a piece of styrofoam stuck back there, which is what's making the gears turn um, a little bit sideways or get stuck and so I think this is about where I found it here is where I just noticed it so once I pulled that out uh, and there was also another smaller little piece of styrofoam stuck in between these gears here so once I pulled that out then I was able to push my carriage all the way back over and my print head lock was working correctly now so uh, I gave it a few spins with the gear and put it into the lock position and the unlock position and you can also see in the back where the paper feed um, where you feed the paper through those gears spin and so now I just need to take off this side cover so I can put my scanner back on and then we'll test just to make sure that uh, the carriage can move back and forth and that the print head lock uh, goes into the unlock position. So take that side piece off and this allows us to reach to the main board. So here we need to put the scanner back onto the hinges. For me th with this model it's always a little bit tricky trying to line it up so I have to kind of get eye level with it and just make sure that the it's usually that uh, right side that I need to make sure that I have the hinge uh, just fitting in correctly with the scanner. But once I get that, I can put my three FFC cables in there. There's one on top of the main board and then two on the back. The smaller FFC cable goes on the inner side of the main board and the larger FFC cable goes on the outer side of the main board there. Screw in my ground wire. And then that's when I can put my side cover back on. So it's pretty easy. Just lift up the, the scanner a little bit. And then you can um, fit those tabs back into the bottom. Alright, so then we'll power back on my printer. And we'll give it a test. And it does move past the where the print head locks. So it unlocks and it moves past. This time I just got a scanner error, which I didn't get last time. Then I got the jam, the paper jam. Uh, which was the print headlock. So we fixed that, and I'll just go back and look at my cables. So happy printing, everyone. We fixed it.